card. I love this. The International Toy Fair is kicking off today in New York City with some new takes on some old favorites as the toy companies try to lure budget conscious consumers in with nostalgia. The Fox Business Network's Robert Gray is there. Now, we have been doing our reporting, of course, and we've been watching Robert on this little screen that we have off camera that shows us sort of what may be coming up in the show. And it has been fantastic. All right, Robert, what do you got? This could be one of the hottest toys that I've seen. I've only been here for a couple hours so far, Megan, but this is cool. We all remember the Rubik's Cube being you know, stymied by these uh, back in the day. Uh, some of us are a little further back than others, but this is the next generation right here. I mean, this I love basically this. works like your iPhone, right? I mean, you just simply swipe your finger and then the cube turns for you. And not only that, but when you get stuck, you can ask it for hints and it will actually light up and show you which turn to make <laughs> next. How cool is that? It's but it gets cool. even better. If once you get stuck, if you've made a mistake, it can go backwards one move at a time to help you out. I mean, this is technology going to the next level. Wow. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So this is going to be on the high end, and there are not that many high-end gifts here this year. Everyone's really being very, you know, cost-conscious price point is going to be very key. This is going to be 150 bucks. Oh. You're not going to see a lot of products like this. It's got to really have a big wow factor, which clearly this does. I mean, people think this is cool, but really what you're going to find more of you know, are the ugly dolls. They're, they run around $20 a piece. We're finding that, you know, below $50, so what the folks we've talked to so far seems to be. Is that you know, what the, what's cute. behind you, the ugly doll? And these are the uh, full size. That ugly big one eyed dolls. monster? Say hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have kids, you probably know these guys. But, you know, Barbie is here. She turns 50 this year. And, boy, does she, she looks great for 50, by the way. Oh, Cougar Barbie. Hotel's here, obviously. Hasbro, all these guys are here, the big guys. Plus, a lot of small shops are here as well. And, and again, we're seeing, you know, the price points are very key. Uh, there are, uh, you know, a lot of eco-friendly guys. And then you've got your sort of back-to-basics type toys as well. What's the deal with the nostalgic toys? Is it just the Cougar Barbie, or is it uh, something more? Uh, it's probably, you know, Barbie's got her anniversary. Fisher Price Little People, they're 50 years old as well. So, you know, they've got a lot of golden birthdays going on down here. And, uh, you know, you do have sort of back to basics. You know, you may know Melissa and Doug, you know, have a lot of like wooden puzzles. Arts and crafts are big here as well. So, you do have things, you know, batteries not needed. Not, never mind, not included. Batteries not needed. You know, again, looking uh, at more cost conscious consumers out there. So, that's definitely a big theme here as well. All right, Robert Gray, thank you so much, Bill. Yeah. Favorite toy when you were little? I don't know, but I tell you what, if I was a kid, I'd buy that Rubik's Cube because I always got stuck in the third panel. That's awesome. I don't know where to go from there. Now I can ask questions and move it. It lights up. It's so cool. much easier. Buy that thing. I liked Simon. Remember Simon? Uh, Simon? You the, it you know, gives you the pattern and you have yep, to bing, repeat bing, it. Okay. And Merlin, the little red guy. Merlin would, says? No, I can't Merlin remember exactly what? what it did. I remember mm. it was red and it had little buttons and it, and it glowed. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not helpful. But, but maybe it's coming back here. I maybe mean, everything's touch back. tone now. What do you guys like? What did you like? What was your favorite toy? We did this once before and people were writing in about like their favorite like doll or something, but toy, mm -hmm. in terms of like toy, right glowy, up. fun thing. One of our viewers is writing in about the theory about the throat infection going around. It's all over this city, by the way.